Actually, if you kind of get soil right, it's a linchpin. It gets water right. It gets air right. So, like uh, Hunter was talking about, she is actually giving up carbon. Soil, if you get carbon in, it becomes living. It kind of is a food for, it's a building block of life. And the building block of life that is inside soil also needs carbon. And the way carbon gets into the soil, it builds soil. Doesn't matter the soil is in, under permafrost, doesn't matter the soil is in temperate or deserts or anything. The soil's featuring has to be far more concrete and it's just standard the way you would look at water and your air temperature. It's foundation. Right now, soil is muddled with land. Yeah. And land is a very complex entity. It has seniority issues associated with it. It has, uh, you know, the community's uh, rights associated with it. Whereas, if you kind of strip off all these things yeah. and just make it soil, suddenly it becomes a lot more quantifiable, actable. Mm -hmm. So we need soils to be a lot more strongly reflected in their NDCs, NAPs, and GGA should have a lead indicator, that is soil, under which you can measure a whole lot of other things.